Also tracking breaking news in the coronavirus crisis as cases spike across Arizona. The head of schools for the state is calling on Governor Ducey to order all campuses to return to virtual learning for the next two weeks instead of going back to the classroom after winter break. Team 12's Josh Sanders joins us with the late breaking details. Josh. Hey there, well, Arizona State School Superintendent Kathy Hoffman sent a series of seven tweets pointing to a surge of new cases and concerning numbers through the holidays as reasoning behind her wanting to return back to virtual learning for the next two weeks. Now, across the state, we've seen both a rise in cases and deaths after Thanksgiving through the new year. Hoffman says Governor Doug Ducey should make this decision to, quote, align with quarantine protocols and current state benchmark recommendations. The virus is currently widespread and it's only expected to get worse because of the holiday season with school districts across the state meeting all three public health benchmarks for returning back to virtual learning. And we've also had calls for teachers to walk out recently leading to staffing concerns. Superintendent Hoffman says the state has been reactive and not proactive. You know, I called for more stringent action over the past several months but because we did not take stronger action as a state, we're in this situation now of schools transitioning back to distance learning, or we have many schools that have not been open since March. What our teachers in that position are thinking is, my neighborhood hospital is full. They are turning people away at the door. If I get sick, they do not have a bed for me. And the governor's office tells us that Ducey will not consider Hoffman's request. He says that it should remain a local decision and that online options are available. He says that, quote, kids have already lost out on a lot of learning and that he wants schools open safely. We're in downtown Phoenix. Josh Sanders, 12 News.